us stories. There are narratives that occur intergenerationally. We're just one, we're one narrative here. Each one of us is a narrative. And our story is occur occurring now. I am Gila Kangu. My name is Marianne. I'm here from Iqaluit. My name is Clara Noir. I'm from Clyde River. I'm Haley Alakan White. Hi, I'm Lois Phillip. My name is Ajman Sitar, and I'm the CEO of Small Economy Works, an organization that started about six years ago with the intention of building economy through young people becoming inspired to take advantage of opportunities and create solutions within their communities and be the leaders that grow their local economies in a way that's in align alignment with themselves. I think if you look at northern rural indigenous communities um, and their legacy as it relates to residential schools and the impact of intergenerational trauma, it's you know, as Murray Sinclair said, former Senator Murray Sinclair said, education has gotten us into this mess and education will get us out of this mess. So it's about creating opportunity that um, give our youth the opportunity to experience success in ways they've never felt within the formal K-12 system. Well, entrepreneur, you know, is kind of like a loaded word. Because when I first think of it, I think of as a business owner, um, but it's much more than that. Um, you know, it's about leadership. It's about um, <clears throat> being innovative and creative and, and looking at um, solutions that will benefit your community. You know, so you are a leader in that, in that respect. Um, you know, it can lead to business, of course. And ideally, you come to that entrepreneurship with community and self in mind at the forefront. The power of entrepreneurship to me is just knowing yourself and knowing what your community needs and the want to help your community. Yeah, I'm here from Iqaluit and um, I have aspirations of opening up a cleaning business. I think to me being an entrepreneur is somebody who's present and um, reliable. Inspire Nunavut approaches entrepreneurship by helping youth from Nunavut gain confidence. They will learn how to discover themselves. They learn what their community needs. They learn to fill those gaps and to learn how to run their business or their community project. Everything uh, from the instructors, the other uh, participants, the topics we were getting into, all the people, our guest speakers that we got to meet, very honorable. Um, every word was a learning, um, was a teaching. The guest speakers, were all, all Indigenous or Inuk. Um, I think their perspective and their advice is really impacted me. That was my favorite part because I got to learn more about our community that I didn't know of. I, I would call myself an entrepreneur because I would be able to um, provide a service to my community and at the same time it would be um, unique. If I put all that I have into this program, I believe that I could be a very successful person that could help my community. We're all layered with knowledge and every generation has experiences that they take and learn from. Um, you all come in here, you're very rich. You come in very rich with knowledge. You have experiences that I have not experienced. Um, and it's those experiences that will guide you down this um, entrepreneurial leadership pathway. Because we're layered with knowledge, just like the landscape has a narrative, 
we have our narratives and we create them.